Okay, so here's here's something that you may have seen before, maybe when you were in school in one of your school books or something like that. I I learned about this in school at least. It's uh, the embryo drawings by Ernst Haeckel. They're used widely to support Darwinistic evolution. Still, um, they were made back in the eight eighteen hundreds. Um, you see these. These drawings here are supposed to be embryos of, of different species and, and on, the, on the top row here you see they all look the same and then on the second row they're a little bit different and they uh, apparently turn into all these kind of different animals and bird, fish and pig and dog and human and this apparently proves that we have the same origin because we we developed from very similar embryos. Uh, now the uh, case is that these embryo drawings are actually false. They they are. Um, well, we can we can look at some actual photos of of these things that I found on on the internet. And check this out. So, on on the top row here is the um, uh, embryo drawings that Ernst Haeckel made, and on the bottom here we have what these embryos actually look like in in photos. So as you can see, it's uh, just totally fake, and actually I I tried to get to the bottom of this and it, it turns out that uh, Ernst Haeckel actually admitted that he forged these uh, these drawings in uh, uh, in a letter and written back in I think 1874 so this has been known to be a fraud for over a hundred and thirty years so I, I think it's about time that the nice people who make school books actually take them out of the school books and stop using them for uh, evolutionistic, Darwinistic uh, propaganda. I mean, if they if they don't have like any real evidence for their theory, if, I mean, if they if they have to use this. 130 year old fraud to prove their theory then maybe they should get a new one it's just my my thoughts on that so